Hello, I'm Bill Samuels, President of the Board of Directors for Farmers Electric Cooperative. Welcome to the 88th Annual Meeting of Farmers Electric Cooperative. The official notices of the 2024 Annual Meeting of Farmers Electric Cooperative Incorporated were posted for mailing as evidence by an affidavit from Texas Electric Cooperatives. Our Board of Directors is a nine-member board representing the 12 counties of Northeast Texas that Farmers Electric serves. Our board terms are four years. We work alongside General Manager Mark Stubbs to handle the business of running our cooperative to best serve our growing membership. This year, our board members whose terms are ending are uncontested for re-election, negating the legal requirement for ballots in an election. Therefore, we are not holding an election. This is a savings we can pass on directly to our members. Instead, we'd like to give you a transparent look into our growth, finances, and people, as that points to our milestone 100,000th meter that we expect to bring online in early 2025. To update us, I'd like to welcome the General Manager of Farmers Electric Cooperative, Mark Stubbs. Thank you, Bill. Our team at Farmers Electric is energized as we prepare to become 100,000 meters strong. At this exciting milestone approaches, it's critical we assess where we stand in terms of equipment, safety, and technology. Growth is inevitable, especially in this part of North Texas and preparedness for that growth is an investment. After all, we want to provide for our future members the same reliable service, high standards, and commitment to excellence that our founding leaders envisioned back in 1937. It's an exciting time to be an energy leader in North Texas. Many parts of our service area are in the headlines for record growth, not just in Texas, but across the country. In a wired, fast-paced, and ever-evolving society, staying ahead of demand requires the strategy of a chess game but the speed of an Xbox battle. In the frenetic pace of life in 2024, it's more important than ever to look back nearly 100 years and remember where we came from to keep our path forward true to our values. In the mid-1930s, only one out of 10 rural homes had electric service. It was considered a luxury for most people. In the latter years of the Great Depression, some folks in other parts of the country didn't see much point in investing in electrical power for the homes, farms, and businesses in Northeast Texas. For many years, power companies ignored the rural areas, except where conditions existed to ensure early profits. The thought was money was scarce and people were hardy. Those rural farms and families would be fine, they said. But the people who lived here knew better. This lack of electricity made life on the farm very difficult. It limited growth in rural areas since bringing in other industries and businesses required electricity. Setting up a cooperative wasn't easy. The organizers were ordinary citizens who held meetings in schools, churches, and other gathering places to convince people to join. The organizers worked for free, going from house to house to drum up support. And the results were not always positive. In 1935, the membership fee of $5 was a lot of money and people were skeptical. After several months of meetings, farmers had enough members to get approval from the government under a special electric program designed by President Roosevelt. The first lines were energized on September 14, 1938. On that day, 101 new farmers members now had electricity for the first time. And now here we are, less than a century later, talking about 100,000 meters, powering homes and businesses, schools and fire stations, hospitals and data centers. And in most cases, for less per kilowatt hour than what you can find on the open marketplace in Texas. Yet keeping the lights on costs more today than at any time in our history. Much like your gasoline, groceries, and healthcare, the prices of essentials like poles, wires, transformers, meters, and trucks have steadily increased. But as good stewards of our members' finances, we've diligently managed costs. Our members have only experienced one rate increase in 20 years. Having a reliable distribution system is a point of pride at Farmers Electric. 
and we know that investing in our infrastructure now will help keep the lights on in the future. Two essential components of reliability include a commitment to preventative maintenance and vegetation management. Preventative maintenance is about inspecting poles and substation equipment and doing diagnostic work to make sure everything is operating properly. We actively repair or replace equipment to ensure our distribution system can withstand the heat of the summer and the occasional Arctic blasts in the winter. Keeping right-of-way areas clear is an ongoing job. Generally speaking, healthy trees don't fall on power lines and clear lines don't cause problems. Proactive trimming and pruning keeps lines clear to improve reliability. Right-of-way maintenance practices will be a hot topic when our legislature meets next year. In the aftermath of Hurricane Barrel, there already seems to be strong interest in pursuing legislation to better regulate utility vegetation management practices. In other words, keeping the lines clear. Our linemen, engineers, and safety team are on the front lines every day, making sure our infrastructure and equipment are performing for our members. But those are just the faces you see. We also have a talented team of professionals working behind the scenes to upgrade technology, respond to our customers, and all the other operations that provide members the hearty, reliable service we've been known for for almost 90 years. But beyond the work we do, many of our 200 employees live in the communities we serve. That's why it's important to us to invest in these communities and give back. From funding women's shelters, to buying toys for Christmas, to taking our trucks out to schools to teach children about our industry, our foundation prioritizes serving and giving here in our home communities. We want to showcase one other area of growth, which is diversified energy sources for both our co-op and our members. Unlike those early days when one in 10 people had power, we now live in the age of demand. Our leadership is committed to being on the forefront of meeting that demand in creative ways that solve strain on the grid and help people think more responsibly about use. Since 1937, Farmers Electric Cooperative has been invested in the growth and progress of the people of our communities. Now as we enter an era of being 100,000 meters strong, our commitment is to empower our people. So our service to you, our members, is nothing short of excellent. Despite the increased costs, we continue to work each day to provide all members with the same exceptional service we've delivered for almost 90 years. To us, that's the cooperative difference. Thank you for being a member of Farmers Electric Cooperative. While we stand ready to face the growth, opportunities, and challenges ahead with the same pioneer spirit and fortitude we inherited from our founding fathers, we are also humble. We know we couldn't do any of this without the trust and support of you, the members of today. And for that, we say thank you. Thank you, Mark, for that exciting report on our growth and vision. As we close our meeting, I want to reiterate Mark's thanks to our members. We look forward to serving you in years ahead as we celebrate being 100,000 strong. We want you to know that you're more than just a member, you're one of us.